Welcome back to another car Drift Racing Online video. It's your boy Day Patrol, and we are back at it again with another brand new setup for the M4 BMW or Loki M4. If I'm correct, that's the name of the car in game. And the setup is really fucking good. It took me a while to actually make this setup because I have never done this car before. Make sure you watch till the end so you can see the whole setup. Don't miss a thing, bro. And definitely, definitely suggest trying this setup out. And let's get to the setup, bro. So first things first you want to do is get the ultimate setup. Otherwise, you cannot tune everything. This car is extremely heavy. But then again, it has a fuck ton of horsepower. And yeah, let's get to the diagnostics real quick. So the front spring length is 13. For rear, it's 16. Front spring stiffness is 70. For the rear, it's 80. Front damper is 5,330. For the rear, it's 4,070. Second damper is 5,070. For the rear, it's 6,970. Third damper is 5,720. For the rear, it's 5,340. Fourth damper is 6,570. For the rear, it's 7,000. 620 front toe is 0 0.11 for rear it's basically zero you can of course make it as mine but it's basically zero the 0, 0 0.1 is not going to change anything front camber is minus 8.84 rear camber is minus 0 0.72 anti-roll bar for the front is 140 for the rear it's 150 this car really fucking needed that caster is 8.8 .8. ackerman angle is 57 percent Steering axis offset is 9, kingpin angle is at 7, and max steering angle, which is 65. So the front tires are at 19, same thing for rear 19s. Front tire width is 280, for rear it's 300, big ass tires in the back. Front tire pressure is 80, for rear it's 70, a heating is 90. Front tire profile is 30%, for rear it's 35%. For the engine, engine is everything maxed out as always. Transmission. Locking ratio is 60% for the diff, final drive is 3.80, first gear is 3.28, second gear is 2.30, third gear is 1.49, fourth gear is 1.26, fifth gear is 1.01, and sixth gear is 0 0.93. So for the brakes, brake torque is 1344, front brake base is 40%, no ABS, and no launch control either. And I'm gonna get in the lobby, show you how the car handles, maybe we can get a tandem or something like that, so stay tuned, make sure you watch till the end, bro. Alright, there's nobody playing Camaro for some reason right now, so we're just gonna do solo dolo this time. <laughs> and yeah, man, the car is so nice, it's so smooth, bro. It's not, like, extremely fast, I made it on the 90s, so it's nice and smooth and not, like, hella fast. But this car is really, really, really good, bro, right now. I'm... It took me a while to make this tune, not gonna lie. I was testing out and, and making sure that the tune is good. Oh, wall tap, nice. That was a nice small tap right there on that barrier. It will take some time to get used to this tune, definitely for me at least as well, because I'm not used to tuning like cars like this. Another tap, damn. And this car can handle a whole lot of angle because it doesn't have a lot of uh, Ackerman angle. It's only 57% as I, most of my cars have 57% Ackerman angle. Sometimes I go a little bit higher, sometimes I go a little little bit below that. For my pro cars, I go a little bit lower than 57%, but for this car, I did 57% Ackerman angle and it's really good on this. And it's just so good, bro. It's hella fast as well, at, at least in... Oh shit. As soon as I said that, I just crashed. <laughs> nice. I suggest sticking in third and fourth gear. That's basically all you really need. You're gonna be shifting down from fourth to third to um, another tap right there as well. Damn. You can, of course, hit the second gear as well. It's not gonna like fuck it up or anything. Oh shit. Don't yank it. Don't yank it though. Don't swing this car too hard because it will spin out then. This car takes quite a good amount of skill to fucking drive not gonna lie bro it's not the easiest car to drive one other tap on that barrier right there bro god damn there's somebody in this lobby but basically we're alone there's you know for some reason a lot of people don't play this map i don't know why it's, it's a good map i just decided to switch it up from red rock and and east Tollgate. sometimes i just it just gets boring bro we need new maps <laughs> but this car is just really really good you can swing it, but just don't be, like, really aggressive with the swinging. Oh, nice. Just don't be, like, extremely aggressive with that swinging, because it will spin out, man. It will spin. It can do the 360 really fucking easily. Check this out. A nice, smooth 360 right there, bro. So easy to do the 360 in this car. Another one right here, bro. 
We're gonna go up this way. Oh shit, I'm spinning out. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep it, I'ma keep it. I build donut right there. Yeah. Fuck it. We can we can we can we can fucking deal with that. A little bit of handbrake right here. Bro, this car is so good. Actually, I never thought about using this car to be honest. I just decided to make a tune for it. Maybe some people will need a tune for it. I made a tune for it real quick. Let's hop on a little bit of East Tollgate, maybe. We can maybe get a tandem because nobody, literally nobody is playing that fucking combi row for now. I don't know why. Even though it's such a good map, not a lot of people play that. They're running a weird line, I think. Definitely not something that I'm used to. Damn, this car is like really fucking fast, my guy. Ooh, nice. Somebody was coming my way. Lambo, what are you doing, bro? Goddamn. All right, let's whip it. Let's whip it and make it fucking drift, bro. This car is so good, actually. I never thought that this car would be such a good car. But I don't really like BMWs, to be honest, or any German cars <laughs> in general. I don't like those cars, but in drifting games and stuff like that, yeah, they're fine. But in real life, I would not get any BMW or any Audi or any... Mercedes really just not my cup of tea or fucking supercars either not I don't like them as you you're gonna need the clutch kick sometimes here and there when the corner is like really sharp um or you can shift down the second gear if the corner is like really sharp uh but I usually just clutch kick it what happened oh nice almost backwards entry up in there bro goddamn yeah this car is like really fucking long as well so it's heavy oh nice I fucking save that one almost crashed there let me know what any other tune y'all want me to make bro i'll make any tune you want me to make any car you want me to make i'll make any car you want me to do Ooh, nice tandem we got here bro this pc player probably really good in his blacked out murked out fucking 15 i think it is yeah it says 15 oh nice bro what the fuck just happened i'm gonna try to follow him and and see maybe he's really good i i think oh shit i'm just big as fuck my car is just huge so it's quite hard to follow such a little car hard to see where where, where i can like do my do my transitioning because the car is literally in front of me and i can't see shit once i get really close because my car is almost twice the size of his that's what she said <laughs> um but yeah man oh shit i'm about to tap him but overall, overall this car is really fucking great and it's really fun to drive this thing even though it's so fucking big oh shit I'm about to tap him again my bad again kind of have to use a handbrake with, 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 with driving with him at least i don't know how it would how it would be with different people but yeah man hopefully y'all enjoyed the video make sure you subscribe to the channel make sure you have your post notifications on as well like the video as well and click the video that you see on the screen right here and I'm going to see y'all next one. Peace, bro.